In a previous video, we discussed the client-server model, where basically there are resources placed on a network on a server, or act as multiple different servers, and client computers access these resources. Today, we're going to specifically talk about the difference between thin and thick clients on a network when accessing resources. So basically, a thick client is a computer that can run independently of the central server. These clients can also be known as just a client or a fat client. And basically, these computers can run themselves. Okay, They don't necessarily be needed to connect it to these servers in order to function. This is the opposite to a thin client, where basically they are heavily dependent on the server's applications. So while a thick client still needs kind of a periodical connection to the actual servers in order to get work done. So it might be that they need to connect to an online database in order for it to be updated. If the online service is down, they can still fill in data on a local database perhaps. Whereas a thin client doesn't really have any backup apps or backup servers. And thus, if the actual server's down, the thin client can't do much work. So let's look at this graphically. Basically, first, here's my network. And there's all my servers once again. I've got a mail server, a web server, print server, database server, app server, and file server. So these are all the things available on my network. We'll look first at the thin client. Now the thin client pretty much needs some sort of connection to the network and it can use all these apps and that's how it completes its task. Now this differs to the fat client or the thick client. Okay, the thick client on the other hand also accesses this network to complete its task. But now the big client might also run offline every now and then if the network is down. And they might have some backup apps installed on it in order to support it. So if it cannot get through perhaps to the Google apps to do its work because the network is down, it's still running Microsoft Word in order to do its task. Okay, if it can't access the online printer, it might be hardwired to its own printer in order to complete tasks. And it may also have its own backup server computer for accessing files when the network is down. So I hope this gives you a bit of a better understanding of the difference between a thin client and a thick client. Thin clients pretty much need to be connected to the network and use these servers in order to complete tasks. Whereas a thick client, while it still is optimum performance, relies on the actual network connection, can still run without being connected to the network due to it being backed up to other its own devices and software.